Hey yo, welcome to another tutorial. So in this video I will show you how to do this transition. And if you are wondering whose edit is this, it's mine. So for exclusive edits check my Instagram link in the description. And now let's get to the tutorial. Subscribe before I kick. Oh! This is what we are doing today. So get your clip and the text ready and follow me. First create a camera. Now create three adjustments layers. And make them 3D. Now parent the camera to the first adjustment and the first to the second one and so on. Don't forget to make the clip and the text 3D. Hide the text for now. So here I am doing a quick fake zoom. Now go where you want to start the transition press P and create a keyframe for the position. Go where you want to end it and decrease the Z position which is the last value. It's up to you how much you want to decrease it. I think that's good. Select the keyframes and easy ease them. Now go to the graph and make sure it's a speed graph. Now follow me. Of course you will not get the perfect graph from the first time just keep adjusting it until you get something good. Now unhide the text. Go to the end of the transition and as you can see it's small, so select the text and press P and decrease its Z position until it looks good. Now select the clip and go to the elapsed tool and press Q in the keyboard several times until you get the circle shape. Double click on it and as you can see we got a circle mask around the clip. Select the clip and press M two times. Change the mask expansion to minus 600 and create a keyframe. Go to the end of the transition and change it to 600. Now let's keyframe the opacity. Create a keyframe then go to the end of the transition and change to 0. Press U and select all the keyframes and easy ease them. Now while you selecting them go the graph editor, follow me.
here I am just speeding up a little bit the mask. Now to make it more smoother, let's keyframe the opacity of the text, follow me. Now create a new solid and add optical flares effect to it. Follow me. Now we're keyframing the brightness. There we go. Also by adding shake and an animation to the text it will be more smoother. So I hope you like the tutorial. See you on the next video.